here is the finished product, one carnivore pizza crust. Normally this is the time when I would give it a taste test, but I'm actually gonna be using this for another recipe and I don't wanna make another one, so you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it that it's absolutely delicious. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Carnivore Kitchen. Steven here with Team Fork and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a carnivore pizza crust. This recipe right over here, before we actually get started, what exactly are we going to need? Well, not much, it's super simple. All we're going to need is some egg white, some pecorino romano cheese, and some Himalayan sea salt. We're also going to need some parchment paper and a tray to put it on. With regard to this recipe, I made it on complete accident. A few weeks ago, I was making some carnivore donuts and I ended up using the leftover egg whites and I wanted to make some carnivore buns. Well, I was too lazy to get my springform pans and I just ended up putting them on parchment paper and they ended up flattening out completely and they came out really good. The problem was they weren't really good buns, but they made an excellent pizza crust. So that's what I'm gonna be making for you today. I already have my egg whites from the carnivore donuts. I have three egg whites right over here. If you guys do want some donuts, I'll include the link right up over here to that cheesy carnivore donut recipe. But what we wanna do is however much weight we have of egg whites, we are gonna match the weight with Pecorino Romano cheese. If you don't wanna use Pecorino Romano, you could use whatever type of hard grated cheese that you like. But I have 102 grams of egg whites right over here and 102 grams of Pecorino Romano. First step that we're gonna do is go ahead and salt. For every one egg white that I have, I'm gonna do one turn of the salt shaker. So that's three turns. One, two, three. And next we're gonna go ahead and add the egg whites to the Pecorino Romano cheese. And next we're gonna go ahead and mix everything up. And I just realized I missed an important step. What we wanna do is go ahead and preheat the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on right now. We're gonna preheat it to 400 degrees. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you know, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and mix everything up. And now that our pizza batter crust is all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and put it onto the lined baking tray with parchment paper. Now that the batter's on the tray, we're just gonna go ahead and flatten it out a little bit. This is an optional step. You don't really need to flatten it out because once you put it in the oven, it's naturally going to flatten, as I found out when I made it by mistake. But I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get it into the best circle shape that I can. That way, at least, it comes out a little bit more like a pizza crust. The last time it came out a little bit squared. And now that the oven is preheated, we're gonna go ahead and take our pizza crust, put it in the oven. We are gonna leave it in for 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes is what I left the last crust for, but this one, it's about a third of the volume from the last one. So I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes and I'm gonna check it after about 15 because I have a feeling this one's not gonna need quite as much cooking time, but our oven is set to 400 degrees. I'm gonna leave it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. I will see you guys as soon as it's ready. Well, it's been 20 minutes and turns out even though we did one third of the recipe that I made last time, 20 minutes was the perfect amount. So we're gonna go ahead and take the pizza crust out of the oven and we're just gonna let it cool off for a little bit and then go ahead and then see how it came out. And here is the finished product, one carnivore pizza crust. Normally this is the time when I would give it a taste test, but I'm actually gonna be using this for another recipe and I don't wanna make another one. So you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it that it's absolutely delicious, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm gonna leave you guys so I can go ahead and make the next recipe video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as it will be uploaded new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.